Okay, in, in this video we're going to show how to um, make the wiring connections to a Benmaster uh, BMRX rotary paddle indicator uh, and to uh, ha turn on a light when the when the paddle shows covered. The way the BMRX works is it it turns a, a paddle inside the the, uh, the the vessel at one RPM and uh, as long as there's no material there, it'll rotate that paddle. When material comes up and covers the paddle, it'll stop rotating and it'll uh, indicate a covered indication uh, with the electronics and that will control the, the light. So I, I've got two power cables uh, coming into the um, uh, BMRX. The one on the left is the, the 115 volt uh, power cord that's going to provide power for the system. The one on the right is the cable that goes from the BMRX over to the to the light, and we will switch 115 volts to that light because our our BMRX is a 115 volt model and the light's 115 volt. The um, the cables coming in. The power cable has three conductors. It's got a a, hot, a black hot conductor, uh, a white neutral conductor, and a green ground conductor to um, ground all the me exposed metal parts of the enclosure. The cable going over to the light also has three conductors. It, it's also got a ground wire and, and a white neutral wire. And then the black wire we, we will use as a switch wire to turn the light on and off. So it will get a 115 volt hot conductor switched on it um, to turn the light on when the paddle's covered and then it'll uh, um, shut that power off when the paddle's uncovered. Uh, okay, the first connections we're going to make is the ground wires. So the ground wi wire from the power cord, the ground jumper that is connected to the ground screw in the enclosure, and the ground wire going over to the light. We're going to uh, put those three wires together and use a wire nut to make our electrical connection. We'll screw that wire nut down tight, check to see that we have all the wires secure in the wire nut. Now, to make the connections to the circuit board, since I'm going to have uh, uh, two neutral wires to have to connect to, I'm going to use jumper wires to connect directly to the terminals on the circuit board. The, there's a two terminal terminal on the far left. This is for your power wires. It's labeled power ab above it, and the two terminals, the, the uh, farthest left terminal is the end terminal, and the one just to the right of it is the L terminal. The end terminal is for the, for the white neutral wire. So we're going to connect a, a white wire there. Secure that wire in the terminal. Now we'll take that wire, that white wire, and we're going to connect it to the, to the, new, the white neutral wire coming in the power cord. And we're going to connect the white neutral wire that goes to the light. These will be unswitched. It'll be direct neutral to the light. So we'll put a wire net on to secure those. Pull on each wire to make sure they're in there tight. Now then, we've got two hot wire connections to the, to the circuit board. We've got the one for the L terminal to power the BMRX. So we'll put that in the L terminal and tighten it down. And the second one will go to the 1C terminal. There's two sets of, of um, uh, contacts that we could use. There's the number one set, which has a common and a normally open and normally closed. So it's 1C, 1NO, and 1NC. And we could use the other set, which is, is uh, 2C, 2NO, and 2NC. Uh, that could be used if you're needing to switch two different circuits. There is a diagram identifying which terminal um, goes to which contact on the relay and the power terminals. It's on this uh, partition in the unit. You probably can't see it very well, but here um, is what that partition looks like and what the uh, diagram looks like. Um, so I need to connect the second black hot conductor to the 1C terminal. So 
So we'll stick that in there. If you were using small wires, you could probably jump from the L terminal over to the 1C terminal, but we're going to uh, use a jumper wire and wire nut these connections together. So now we'll connect the, the black hot conductor or the power cord to these two black um, hot conductors that, that connect to the circuit board. Put the wire nut on there and uh, screw that down tight. Check to make sure each wire is secure in the wire nut. Now that'll leave one wire left to connect and that's the black wire in the cable going to the light. And we will connect that to the one NO terminal which will give us a 115 volts on it uh, when the paddle is covered. Make sure those are all secured in there. Okay, that's all of our wiring connections. Now we're going to tuck the wires down into the wiring compartment so they're out of the way like that and then we can put the cover on the on the um, okay now we're ready to make the connections over at the light um, well, it's the light has a, a metal enclosure so we'll need to ground it so we'll connect our green ground wire coming in the cable to the to the the green ground wire in the light just use a wire net in the same way there's there's two light wires and the gray one will connect will connect the neutral wire to the gray conductor coming from the light screw that wire net on make sure both wires are secured in there then we'll connect the red wire from the light to the black conductor which is the slit switched wire coming from the BMRX screw that wire nut down make sure those wires are in there tight now we will tuck the wires away and put the cover on the on the light Okay, now that we've got all our wiring connections made, we're going to power the system up. So I'm going to plug the 115 volt power cord in. Now the paddle is going to rotate. It rotates at 1 RPM. We have an assortment of different paddles. This one is a smaller paddle meant for a heavier product, uh, like an aggregate or just a heavy product that, that can stop um, a smaller paddle. And that, but so uh, the light is off while the paddle's rotating. And then, if I stop this paddle from rotating, it's got about a second and a half to two second delay, and then the the uh, light will will turn on. This is a flashing light. It's not the BMRX causing it to flash like that. It's just that's the style of light it is. Then, when I I let off the paddle, the um, the light will shut off. Paddle will start turning again. If I stop it again. After about a second and a half to two seconds, the uh, light will turn on, giving a covered indication. Then we'll let off of it and let it rotate. If you wanted the light to come on when it was uncovered, instead of connecting to the 1NO terminal with our switched black switched wire, we would connect it to the 1NC terminal. Then the light would be on when the paddle was rotating and shut off when the paddle uh, got covered and stopped rotating.